Valley High School radio and television class. Uh, today we're bringing you t your Friday live stream. Unfortunately, we have some technical difficulties and we're not available to go live right now. Uh, so we are bringing you a edited version, edited by me, uh, that will go out. Uh, your daily announcements are in Outlook as per usual. And today we're going to be bringing you some teacher spotlights and interviews. Uh, Sending us off, we'll have myself, Christopher Bake, uh, interviewing Mr. Tinky on esports and his time at Tipkin Valley School Corporation. Uh, then we'll be going over to Damon Pyle with Mr. Williamson, uh, with his time in choir and theater. And finally, we'll be ending things off with Parker Shoemaker interviewing Blaine Smith, uh, who is in band and plays saxophone. Hello, my name is uh, Chris Baker with the Radio and TV Production Class for Tipping Valley High School. I'm sitting here with Jonathan Tinky. Uh, our cameraman is uh, Jordan Coon. Say hi. Hello. Uh, Mr. Tinky, say hi. Hello. Uh, right now we're doing our teacher spotlight uh, for our Friday live stream. Now, uh, Mr. Tinky, what, te or what classes do you teach currently? Um, currently I teach government, economics, psychology, and one class of world history. And this is your first full year teaching at uh, TBHS? Correct. Um, what did you do before Tipton Valley High School? Um, before Tipton Valley High School, um, after graduating from Trine University, I worked in the Allen County Prosecutor's Office as a caseworker. I worked in the Civil Division mostly, um, which deals with civil law, and then became a substitute teacher um, for Tipton yeah. Valley. Yeah, it's a different career path, but I felt like that was the right choice for me. And it seems like it. Thank you. Um, why did you pick uh, Tippecanoe Valley High School? Um, Tippecanoe Valley um, High School, one, Tippecanoe Valley is home for me. I'm a graduate of the class of 2012, and it just felt like it's family. Um, it's, Tippecanoe Valley is always welcoming, and um, at the high school, I like teaching high schoolers. Um, through my sub-career, I've taught the elementary and middle school, and I've always felt more comfortable teaching high school students. Hmm. Uh, so I understand you're doing uh, an esports club. Here. Correct. Um, we are doing the. We have the Tiffany Valley High School esports. Um, currently, we are in league with um, Play Versus or Play VS, and this season starts October first, and we'll be pl um, playing League of Legends this um, fall season. Um, what really is esports? Um, esports is competitive um, video game competition. And with eSports, um, there's a lot of scholarship opportunity for the students. Uh, this is a new kind of phenomenon. Uh, it's very new. And these scholarships for these students with uh, organizations like PlayVS, uh, these scholarships go to um, schools such as Purdue, uh, Butler, Trine University, University of Indiana, The Ohio State, Michigan, and Michigan State, and many other universities. Mm. Uh, what experience do you have in gaming and esports? Well, I will be honest with you, I've been a gamer um, when I was young. I played um, the Total War series, mostly history strategy games when I was younger. Um, also played a little bit of Madden. When, um, as I grew up as an adult, I didn't really get into esports um, type games until about my time at college at Trine University. I will always remember um, my sweet mate during my sophomore year, there was a blizzard and we got snowed in and he was playing league and I was bored and I asked him what he was playing. He kind of showed me the ropes and that's how I kind of started. Hmm. Uh, I think we're a bit running low on time here because we've got some other stuff uh, going on in the live stream. So uh, this was our teacher spotlight for the week of the September 7th of 2020. Uh, and I think we're going to be rolling on to another one of our spotlights. Hi, I'm Damon Pyle from the Broadcasting Department <laughs> for uh, Tipton New Valley, and I'm here with Mark Williamson, or Mr. Williamson, if you will. Uh, we have a few questions for you, if you don't mind. Sure, why not? Okay, so a lot of us are curious. What are the uh, ideas for the upcoming show? 
Oh, for theater. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, we're looking at telling some different stories. Children's stories, you know, from anywhere from possibly the grim side of things to the Disney, Disney-esque versions. Uh, we're going to be looking at Student, breaking students up into smaller groups, and they're going to be telling those stories. So whether it's Dr. Seuss or the Brothers Grimm, we're going to be telling some interesting stories. And so it's going to be basically the, the tales we tell. Yeah, that was one of my questions. If it was going to be on the brighter side, if we're going to be grim so, <laughs> uh, I I'm rather excited about that being part of the theater department. <laughs> so um, how many people do we have involved in the show? Uh, thus far, we had about... 30 or so people show up to the call out. So I imagine we'll probably have somewhere between 20 and 25 eventually, uh, finally in the, in the group. We'll see who shows up Tuesday, yeah? Yeah, Tuesday. Uh, how has COVID affected the choir and the theater department? You know, it, it's been kind of a, a, a hamper on what we do because everything we do is with our mouths. Well, not everything for theater, but right. for a choir anyway. We have to sing. So masks have to be worn, which then, as we all know, the masks muffle everything we say. Oh, yeah. So it's even worse for singing. You can sing through it, but it takes a lot of extra effort, and it's, it, it's difficult to hear. Okay. Uh, are you excited about this? I'm excited to get back into working with, with students in, in the theater setting. I love doing it in the classroom, but also on, on stage, allowing you guys to really kind of show your... Um, potential and what is on your hearts. It's not everything that coming from me that says you have to do it this way, especially for people that don't know and have never done theater before. It's not the director saying, well, I want you to do it this way, I want you to do it that way. It's more of, why don't you try this and see where it goes. Right. One last extremely biased question. Okay. Uh, how do you think this year's cast is going to compare to years before? It's always different no matter what. So you have different shows, it's hard to compare to different casts. There's always different talents, different talent levels, different abilities within those talents. So I'm excited to see people grow. Okay, well, thank you for your time. My uh, pleasure. This has been Mr. Williamson, and I'm Damon. Thank you for tuning in. What is the most difficult part about band? I think the most difficult part about band is actually like getting to learn your instrument. Yeah, you have. You have three years to practice through middle school, but once you get to high school, then you have to start doing the same uh, music as the like older classmates have to do. Like, what do you do during band? You play. <laughs> no, like, no, no I, I know. And so, you like you have to practice every day. We practice separate songs throughout band. We'll play at the like home basketball and football games, and then every, if there's a pep rally, we'll do pep rallies and stuff like that. We'll. We'll like go perform in other places, and we'll do concerts every winter and spring. Yeah, what what made you want to join band? Uh, well, all my life I've like really enjoyed playing instruments. Like I used to play piano when I was younger. Then I quit that because my brother quit playing guitar, and I was like following everything he did. And so once I got the opportunity to play the saxophone, I thought that was an instrument for me, and I truly enjoyed it. What's your favorite part about playing the saxophone? Well, I think it's a really like cool sounding instrument. You can get a whole lot of different like there's a huge range in between the notes and so I really like the sound that it produces. What's your least favorite part about playing the saxophone? Uh, I don't really have much of a least favorite part besides the maintenance. I mean it can get kind of expensive, but besides that I think it's overall good. Okay, so here's the final question. What is what precautions are you taking this year because of like COVID nineteen? Oh uh, well, when we go in, we have to put on hand sanitizer to the like to the band room because they already like sanitize their seats, and we don't switch any seats. We are not allowed to move our seats because they're already three feet apart exactly. And during like our performances, like in the bleachers, we're separated, and that's about it. Yeah, I hear you're playing your first game today. Are you excited? I mean, soon. Are you yeah, excited? I'm excited because we get to see how the freshmen actually perform. Uh, we haven't seen that yet, besides in class, so. Get to see how much air they put out, everything like that. Okay. I want to thank everybody for watching this Friday live stream. Again, I'm sorry for our technical difficulties. Uh, we were unable to go live, as well as some audio issues. 
Um, next Friday, we will have another one of these live streams. Hopefully, it will be live. As well as every following Friday, we will be attempting to have a live stream. I want to thank everybody uh, for watching this. And uh, since today is September 11th, who uh, I'd like to send a prayer up for families and friends lost in the attacks on 9-11.